guys welcome back to another video hope you guys are doing awesome today so guys if you're new here please go ahead and subscribe to my channel like share also and to my day one big up big up big up <laughs> so guys i'm here with another video guys um this video is mainly about me and how i came to the usa oh i made it here in the u.s never run over ibada <laughs> guys don't come to me for that about jumping over the border going over the border to each zone and everybody have to do something you understand yeah if that you have to do you do it and just come and just know say yeah go for where you want get the opportunity and run with it so guys i'm here with another video guys how i came to the usa all right i came here on a visa yes you girl came here on her 10-year visa guys i used to go back and forth when I um have my when I get my visa until you know I go back to I went back to Jamaica and when I was there working I said to myself I think I need a change I need a better life so I'm gonna come here get a little work I was thinking about going back and forth like come work you know so i came when i came um someone hooked me up on a job and i'm gonna say their name because you know people don't really like people calling name and this is social media and then i don't want to say a person name and then other people gonna hear and then they're gonna say oh why they never tell me this or why the person never tell me that so i'm just gonna leave it as that i'm just gonna say the person or someone yeah someone give me a link because the person who i have my visa and you know because i planned that i'm gonna leave my job down there in jamaica because i was working I was in a good little job down there. My battery low. So the person tell, hooked me up and they asked me if I would um, go on this program. And I say, yeah, even though I have my visa, I would come here. I can't talk now. <laughs> I would come here and I would work on my visa. I mean, work under the table. So guys, if you are come here and you work under the table, you have to be careful. You have to know what you're doing. You have to have people, good people, a guard your back. You can't just come and say, oh, me, I'll do this. And even if you plan say so you're going to come and do that, you have to keep your mouth shut. Because I know everything good for eat, good for talk. Because people is very... And people will bring you down. First, when, you, when they see you come and you try, the man say, oh, Oh, you just come and you yeah, live such a good life or oh you know everything and oh yeah go through so smooth so it's better when you come here keep your mouth lock pay you better so anyways guys i came to the u.s and i get a little job so i was working there for quite some time some things did happen so i had to leave because you don't know how people stay all kind of people you yeah, work with and some of them people them head no screw on so a lot of things did happen i don't even want to say it in this video because it's gonna take up the whole video so what if something did happen and then me leave from there because i'm not gonna be continuing staying anywhere where i don't feel comfortable i leave from there and i come here in another state <laughs> a lot of people know where i'm at right now so i came here and when i came i have a friend i had a friend and i told her what was going on and she bought my ticket and i came 
thank God for her, even though things never work out the way it should have worked between me and the person, but I still consider her as my friend, you understand? Because if it wasn't a friend, if she wasn't a friend, she, wasn't, she wouldn't look out for me in the way she had looked out for me. So she is still my friend in my mind. You understand? It doesn't matter if a person... All right. So, when I came here, there was another job that... Sit down and wait for me. See you here. So, I'm a, just, I'm a lucky girl. Yeah. So, um... I came and then I start working the next day because you know what you girls should not really I don't really care so so long as I'm gonna get a little money to help me out I went ahead and I did the job and I was there for quite some time till until things never really work out so during that time I met my husband yeah I met my husband and we've been going on, doing our thing, getting to know each other, and all those wonderful things. Yeah. We got married. And you don't know where the thing go, cause me come here on my on my visa. I mean, if I'm here and I don't have certain things, you know that I'm here illegal. So my husband knew that and my husband he understand not saying that he do it because whatever but you understand <laughs> if you guys understand you understand he did it and we are still together we married we have our children yeah because mine and fem and fem are fine right anyways we married and we live together and so on and so on. But guys, if you're gonna come here, you have to know that you have to think of and you don't and you plan not to go back home. You have to make sure you have things set up for you where you don't have to be worrying about oh where am I gonna stay? What's gonna happen? How am I gonna get food? You have to think. Cause when I just come here now, guys, I that same friend, I spent some time with her until she did tell me something. And because I have my plan, I went ahead and I rent. I rent a efficiency from a lady and I was paying like $500 a month. So I get a one room and I was sharing the bathroom with somebody. Then, while I was there, my husband was, you know, back and forth. So... I start looking about my papers just because you have to get yeah I have to get myself sorted out I start looking about my green card my permanent stay yeah so good thing I was working because guys if you come here as well you can't push the, put the pressure on one person alone you can't expect that one and wash the other so i put it on my head to go and deal with my thing on my own because i'm the one who have what they call it what they say and in a in a in a lion mode you take time dry out so i make sure I get a job work show my partner cop them show partner here to you know, guys my god you, you come a foreign and there if you know nobody if you throw partner with it you can ask people partner throw a foreign more than Jamaica mm-hmm yeah throw a, f a lot of it throw here so that's what I did get my thing started and I am here today and I can come back and I can share it with other people say that it is good to know that you have good people with you and you always have to give thanks and you have to show appreciation towards people because sometimes if it if it is not for them you wouldn't be where you're at just like like you guys right now on my YT if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't be here sharing another video with you telling you 
a lot of stuff, giving you ideas, you know, sharing my day-to-day -day life. Well, some of what I want to share because I don't really want to put everything out there in this atmosphere, out there in the social media for people to take it and drag it and bring it all over and carry wrong news. So, it is good to have a great person or people behind you helping you out and when they notice that you're a kind and genuine person they will go ahead and even try to help you more and what why did i say that is because you can't expect to leave everything on one person alone you have to help so they say god help those who help themselves and i believe in that yes so that's mainly what I really come here to say to you guys. If you think this is, if you think uh, you like this story or little of what I had shared to you about my life, please go ahead, like the video, subscribe if you made it this far in the video. And if you're new, I'm asking you please to subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. So, bye guys.